So, we're going to go over um, the Z-Lock today. Um, I did this on Thursday, that video has been deleted and will never go into the internet because I realized I made a mistake. So, um, I, like I was saying on Thursday, this is a new lock for me too. I'm still getting used to it, but uh, I'm doing it right this time and it's it wasn't pleasant on Thursday. It's going to be even worse today. So, just fair warning for everyone. So, we go into our single leg X, first of all. And we bring our right down. Um, so just first showing what I'm doing with this leg and with my reaping foot. Um, kind of goes to what I was saying during our warm-up when you're doing the knee reap for outside Ashi. I only get as strong a bend in this leg as I can. And I use my other feet to catch this leg. Yeah, because I don't want it going far away. Catch the, the foot, catch the knee, pull it in. From here, and this is what I was doing wrong last time. I leave this foot out. You don't want this foot in, you leave the foot out. Reach through, grab this shin, and now I've locked this foot nice and tight. Now, and here's where it starts getting really unpleasant, I stomp on my own foot. Yeah, he's already wanting to tap. Yeah, okay? And now from here, shove the foot a bit forward, get that bend even further, and then I start taking it. Okay? This, like I was saying, was not pleasant on Thursday. This way is a lot tighter and I actually feel like I've got more power to, to break the leg now. So again, you're doing this gently. No one does this fast because, again, B team, 12 second leg break. So same thing over here, so I can show the other side. <coughs> just, just sit down. Because otherwise I could turn you over there and then we have to move again and then just stay here. Okay, so like I said, first thing is I catch with this, this foot in the knees, but that leg keeps close to me and a strong reap. Okay, and again, my goal with this reap is to get A, my foot inside, and B, to get this bend as strong as I can. At least 90 degrees, if not more. I think you're probably at about 110 right now. So now, one hand, the arm grabs to the knee, one arm grabs to the foot, pull that leg in. Yeah, and I want, ideally, his knee should be touching his calf right now. From here, stomp on my own foot, and when you see that face, you know you've got good pressure. You can push the foot a bit forward more, even stronger bend, and then I take this toe to that shoulder. And then you see he taps really fast. Okay? So, that's the correct way to do the Z-Lock. Uh, I really like this because it's, it's especially with our single leg X entry, it's, it's kind of a natural, you can take this directly off the reap, the feet are right there where you need them to be, and I don't think a lot of people are going to be expecting this. I think they might be happy that you're not doing the gator roll into an outside ashi and they think, oh, he's not doing an outside ashi, I can escape this. Then you lock up the Z, uh, Z lock entanglement and then you just start cranking on that hip and they say, oh shit, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay? Anyone wanna see that again? Do you wanna see that? Okay, okay, so let's drill this a bit. Again, gently. Do not crank this very hard. You see, he's always like, oh, Ja, das, das fühlt yeah. sich total locker an. Also hier ist super fest und da ist so ganz viel Spiel, aber es... Ja, 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 es ist ein horrible lock. Okay, so, just a couple of finishing details for the, the, the Z-Lock, just because I want to make sure I have it documented. Something, first, the detail that I was noticing getting this in, um, to help get this leg nice and tight. So, grabbing and hooking in, and when I reap, I don't reap up here to the knee. I reap here to like the bottom of his glutes or his thigh. Because now when I sit up, I get this nice bend. If I do it here, yeah, you, well, no, you don't even have to stretch. Just here, if I move it here, you automatically feel less pressure, don't you? So if you, the closer this foot is to his butt, the tighter that's gonna be on his leg, 
and this, yeah, yeah, you can already see his face cringing when I start to move my foot down. So the, the lower this foot is, the stronger the bend and the tighter the lock on the hips. And another thing is when you're doing this, because I saw a couple people doing this, you don't do this. Because now you're feeling less pressure, right? So when you move to the side, that takes pressure off. You want to stand nice and straight. And now when I get my, my, my Z entanglement, now everything is nice and tight. You're already feeling pressure on your hip right now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, this is, um, this is already unpleasant and I haven't even started the actual lock. Okay, so you don't want to fall to your side. You want to stand up and you want this foot as close to his butt as possible, okay? Don't, don't let your foot wander up. And that gets everything nice and tight and now I need very little power to finish it. Okay, so just wanted to point out those couple of details. To, and I wanted to make sure I had them on video so that everyone could look at it later. So, so the last one we this is actually kind of one of the easier locks now. It's not as complicated as the Z-lock. That's good because that means it's also very quick to catch. You can catch a toe hold really quick. And you can get this off of your um, outside uh, as a when you, the same gator roll beginning, you can use to catch a toe hold too. So, same idea, I reap. And by reaping, I'm going to get that foot nice and in the air. And now I hook in because I actually don't want him to roll down. Okay? And for, and I mainly want this bend and I want that foot in the air. And then I can bring my arm in here because I want my hand, especially, forgive the gesture, I want this finger, this one, on his pinky toe, okay? I've seen people do it like this. This isn't as big a lever. This, this shortens the lever. It'll work. I'm not saying you can't heel uh, toe hold someone like that, but if you bring it up, I'm much higher on the foot now. You can already feel, even though I'm not even in the toe hold, I've got more control over your foot now. Okay? And very important, you want to keep this bend. Okay? Try to straighten your foot. Okay? Now. Okay? So you need to keep this nice and strong bend because the minute it gets here, he can, he can straighten and he can counter my toe hold. Okay? So keep this bend. Okay. From here, with this arm, I catch my own hand in the figure four, and I want to go up on his heel. Okay? You want to be as high up on his foot as possible. And now a lot of mistake a lot of people make is they just push the foot down. What I'm doing is pushing the foot down with my hand and pulling my elbow up to me. Yeah, and that comes really fast. So it's not this, it's this. Kind of like you're doing the key more, basically. In fact, the grip, with the exception that I've got his foot with my hand, is very key more like. Okay, I'm essentially grabbing a key more here. Okay? And this way, he can't really roll because I've got this body nice and stabilized and told. Okay? You want to see that? Um, nope. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, any questions about toads? If not, then let's drill some toads, break some, break some feet. Okay, just a couple of finishing details. I just wanted to make sure I specifically said and had on videos because I want everyone to be able to get this right. Um, just two things that I noticed really helped get the, the finish really quickly. So we've got our read, but we're almost going fine right there. Um, something, the first detail is before, when I first grab, I actually really shove this foot forward. Okay, first this just gives me more uh, tension in all of the leg, and second, this just honestly makes it really easy to do this. So if I've got this foot here, I've got to shift my hips about out, out of it. Yeah, and that's where things start getting loose and he can start escaping. So really just shove that foot forward, and then it's right there where you want it. For, uh, for the toe hold, it's easier to grab. And the other thing is, um, I want as little space here between my arm and his heel as possible. Because I see, I mean, it'll still work. I'm not saying it'll work, but if you're doing it like this, 
the, the, the main tension is actually on your, on your lower leg and tibia right now, right? So the main tension is right here. If I bring it up here, now you're feeling it more in the joint. So um, when you're here, flare out that arm to make sure that you've got your lower arm on his heel as much as possible. And then from here, that's where you start doing your patient. Okay? Just a couple of details I wanted to make sure I pointed out because I, I noticed that helps me A, just catch the thing a lot easier, and B, it really helps finish, I think. I think that, that tap comes really fast when you do that. Okay? Let's do some sparring. 